Hey, hello. If you're a uh, part of that generation of people that wants to bring back, like, old tech and shit for some reason, because the newer and newer technology gets, it seems to fail us more often. If you want to bring back a piece of technology from the better times, what would it be? It'd probably be an iPod. Um, but taking a look at them now, or even buying one right now, is quite the money sink right now. Uh, super old batteries that you're definitely going to have to switch out. Super old hard drives that you're definitely going to have to switch out. And a super outdated plug that you have to use for it. It, it just seems less and less reasonable as you think about it. And it just doesn't seem fun. And it wasn't fun for me when I first bought my uh, iPod. And my, had put a shit ton of mods on it. Had no experience. It flopped on me. And I swore it off. And I just bought a cheapo MP3 player. Uh, not really that cheap. But com uh, compared to my money sink that was the iPod. It seemed like a lot of money. And... Uh, after some of the correct mods, uh, it outshined the iPod in many, many ways. Uh, it has built-in Bluetooth, has USB-C, has built-in SD card support, and supports Rockbox. And uh, that one is the Hi-Fi Walker H2. Um, this was only 130 bucks. That's not bad at all for a for a flak player um it would be considered expensive for an mp3 player especially on amazon you could fucking buy those things for pennies um but no it was mad cheap it also has a line out you wouldn't think line out is important until you have to plug your player into like a car stereo or something you wouldn't think line out is important but it's really useful sometimes anyways it's mad cheap and it supports Rockbox, which is like pretty much the only reason I wanted to get an iPod in the first place. I would see these fucking cool ass pins on Pinterest. Guy has a transparent screen and he has the Matrix on his iPod. That's insane. Guy's the Matrix. He has the Matrix on his iPod. Is that the flying spaghetti monster on an iPod? That's insane. But reality had hit me. I I had spent like almost 300 bucks just for I think I something burnt out and something burnt out and it would sizzle when it peaks when the audio peaks it would sizzle in my headphones and I sat there I I thought it looks cool but it sounds like shit and that was my iPod modding experience it's not very fun I would recommend the Hi-Fi Walker. Uh, the I had to use. Oh yeah, another note. Rockbox says it is an unstable port on the website, but that is just because um, you have to go back into the factory OS in order to use Bluetooth. I don't use Bluetooth as often, so it's not not a big deal to me. Um. Yeah, that, I think that's the only reason it says it's an unstable port. I get some freak out, some frizz sometimes from the player and the OS, but it doesn't seem to cause any major, major issues for me. It just seems fine, honestly. Just no native Bluetooth support within Rockbox, and that seems to be the only issue for me. I honestly think it's amazing and should be considered before you buy and modify an iPod. Considering how much of a money sink it is and considering how much more features the Hi-Fi Walker does before you even get the stock iPod, it just seems great. And it has a fucking mad powerful battery. I don't care if I don't care if you buy a 32 gig iPod and shove one of those what are those don't remember what it was but I remember if you got like a 32 gig thick model you'd 
you'd have the ability to get that mega mega battery that lasts you like three days. I don't fucking remember. It's a reasonable amount of battery, okay? It's perfectly fine, okay? Listen, listen. It's slim, dude. It's actually... It's a little thick, but it's still smaller than the actual iPod. But I would appreciate it if I had a slimmer profile. It's probably about the size of, uh... It's about like a... Two Whataburger ketchup cups. Or, more reasonably... Maybe like... At least one Taco Bell sauce long. Maybe a little longer. A little longer on both sides. It's about the size of a Taco Bell hot sauce. Alright, I think that's all I really need to say about this player. Enough singing its praises. I mean, this this is no diss towards people who have spent their time towards modifying their iPod and using it like daily for music. I mean, that's all the power to you, man. I couldn't manage to do that. I fucking burnt it out, I guess, or something. It broke. Okay, it broke. Fine. Fine. Maybe I don't have surgeon hands. That's fine. More power to you if you can daily run a modified iPod, but I'm just gonna stick with my Hi-Fi Walker. Uh, I'm dropping a link. I don't... I don't know how to make it affiliate, but I'm just dropping a link to where I got uh, my Hi-Fi Walker and the link towards all the uh, Hi-Fi Walker builds on Rockbox, so you could read more into it. Alright, thank you.